rather oddly, we don't know when Temujin became Chinggis Khan. Or rather, we don't know when exactly he took the title. We have roughly three dates. Uh, 1185 or 1189, when he became Khan of the Borjigan. Or in 1206, with the proclamation of the new Mongol state. Let's have a look at when he actually became Khan in the 1180s, and why this may be causing such confusion. After his break with Jamuka around 1183, and with some prestige from the campaign against the Merkits and his reputation for generosity to his followers, bringing him an influx of new supporters, Temujin made a stab for the vacant position of Khan of the Mongols. Sacha Beki and former Mongol Khan Huthala Khan's son Altan and Esigai's nephew Quachar, along with Esigai's brother and Temujin's uncle Daratai, came to Temujin from Jamuka and offered him the Khanite. All of these men, especially Altad and Quachar, had much better claims to be Mongol Khan, but none of them had the support that Temujin had. And indeed, they likely thought that Temujin would be much more malleable than Jamuka, and they could hope to operate as the power behind the scenes, enriching themselves. This would be incorrect, as it would turn out. The secret history of the Mongols actually depicts, at the same time, Korchi of the Bar Arin, a close kinsman of Jamuka, coming to Temujin with a vision of Temujin becoming a great lord, for which he will reward Korchi handsomely. Although, personally, this specific event always seemed to me like something added afterwards to make it look even more so like Temujin was destined by heaven to be master of the earth, rather than necessarily depicting an actual event. The secret history also shows a young man named Tsubotai at this time joining up with Temujin, but it's a little bit before he's of any importance. Now, the secret history of the Mongols shows Temujin, as he becomes Khan of the Borjigan, taking the title of Chinggis Khan at the same time, and refers to him more as Chinggis Khan from this point onwards. This is problematic for a few reasons. Uh, for one thing, it's a bit of a grandiose title for someone who just became Khan of one tribe. Um, and there is no evidence at all that he was thinking of conquering the world or China or let alone imagining becoming the sole ruler of the steppes. So it's hard to say why the secret history depicts him taking the title at this time. Um, it is important to remember, though, that at the time Temujin became Khan, they weren't writing anything down. Um, no one at that point would ever have thought the Mongols were about to go on and conquer China and Asia in a few decades. Um, what I suspect is that when the secret history of the Mongols was written around 1230, shortly after Chinggis' death, that the writers assumed that when Temujin became Khan in 1185, Khan at the same time. Um, for them, with the benefit of hindsight, it was obvious he was going to become a great conqueror, so why shouldn't he take it? Yet, it is still possible that he actually did take the title at this time, too. Possibly it was a personal one, maybe it had been one he'd just been called and decided to make it an official title in 1206. Uh, we can't say for certain, as no one wrote down the specifics of it. And the title of Gurkhan, for instance, means Universal Ruler, and that had been used many times before this point for people who were not universal rulers. So the grandiosity of the title, it's not really an argument against. Anyways, what's the uncertainty with the dates? Well, the secret history of the Mongols is awful with chronology. We literally can't say for certain when any of the dates in Temujin's life before 1200 actually occurred. It's clear that he became Khan in the 1180s. Whether it's 1185 or 1189 depends on when you think he was born. Paul, Ra Paul Rachnevsky, for instance, says 1185, 
while John Mann says that the official date the Mongolian government recognizes is 1189, and that he took the title Chinggis Khan at this time too. So, the only thing, uh, the dating of him becoming Khan and taking the name really affects is the date of the Battle of Dalan Baljut, discussed in the previous video, as that happens a year or two after he becomes Khan of the Mongols, so in 1187 or 1190, for example. And really, the only other thing from that it affects is whether you think he was being called Chinggis Khan or not. So, after his defeat at Dalan Baljut, it's not until 1196 do we know exactly what Temujin's been up to, and that's the period we'll be looking at next.